welcome to my 2024 Coachella vlog. <laughs> this looks so good. Me sitting here right now, I've already been to Coachella, but I'm gonna kind of help explain everything that happened. So this video has a little bit more order to it because if not, it's just gonna be all over the place. I'm currently super dead right now though. I don't know why, but I have chills on like my entire body and I am freezing. I think it's literally just from lack of sleep. So I'm gonna have my heated blanket on. <laughs> this is my second Coachella. My first Coachella was last year. I filmed all of that. It was amazing. I got to see Calvin Harris, who I love and have wanted to see like probably since I was 10 years old. Last year I did three videos. This year we're doing one video, just putting it all out there. Grab a freaking snack, get a Bev, because this is going to be a very long video. <laughs> I loved last year so much that I knew I would want to go this year. Lana Del Rey, Tyler the Creator, and Doja Cat. I'm not gonna lie, this probably is not my favorite lineup, just because I don't really listen to Tyler the Creator and I'm not the biggest fan of Doja Cat. Like I know her songs, but I don't listen to her. I do love Lana Del Rey. So I was very excited for that. There's also other people that I am very, very excited to see that you guys will see. Even though I wasn't like super crazy and excited for the lineup, there is just something about Coachella that I love. And I don't even know how to fully explain it. Like the experience overall of Coachella is very fun. I love getting ready. I love the outfit. This year I actually met people People that I've been friends with online for like a fat minute going to events and obviously above all listening to music And even if you don't know who the people are like it's still such a vibe I definitely knew I wanted to go again in 2024 So I bought those tickets immediately and I got the VIP tickets There's a lot of anticipation and excitement this time because like I know I'm going because I already had bought the tickets months in advance Last year was not like that. It was very spontaneous. I got the tickets like a week before we went all of my outfits a week before. You would think that me having it all together and stuff would make me less stressed. Absolutely not. I was way more stressed this time and had so much more anxiety for some reason. If you're new and you've never like seen me before and you just somehow clicked on this video, I have a lot of like anxiety disorders pretty much. I'm not gonna get into it right now. I've not been doing like the best recently and I've just been having like a lot of panic attacks. Definitely very nervous about that for Coachella and you might be like asking yourself, well, Kaylee, like why the hell are you going to Coachella? Because I'm trying not to let anxiety run my entire life. These things literally are exposure therapy and help. I was just super, super panicky the few days before. Still excited, but when the panic takes over, it's very hard to keep the line of vision on excitement and my mind just like catastrophizes and thinks of the worst things possible. I have three cats. One of these cats, Binks, is psychotic and always hurts himself. And has literally costed me thousands of dollars this is your reality if you're gonna get an orange cat. Main thing is that he has a heart condition which made him go into heart failure. I'm always nervous about bringing him places because I don't want his heart to pump really hard and him to get nervous. It can literally cause him to go into heart failure. I already knew we were not bringing the cats to Coachella with us to the hotel. Last year we did and we only had our two cats. We have a friend that lives right next to us that usually feeds our cats but he was like, oh, I can't feed them. Like a few days before we were gonna leave so we were like, oh shit. What are are we going to do with our cat? We almost had to bring them, but then Tyler's parents agreed to watch them. We have a set in stone plan of what's going on with our cats. Three days before Coachella, Binks starts violently throwing up. Though so I have a fear of throw up. I thought that this only was with humans. No, I was repulsed. Started like having panic attacks because Binks was throwing up everywhere. I genuinely think I will never be able to have children because I will not be able to deal if they throw up. It's so crazy. Like when I was little, I used to tell myself I'm never having kids because I knew morning sickness was a thing and I'm absolutely terrified of having morning sickness and I will never be able to deal with a child throwing up. Maybe one day I'll get cured of the emetophobia. I genuinely don't know. Binks goes to the ER. They have to do an ultrasound. Now, some of you guys are gonna be like, Kaylee, why the fuck don't you have pet insurance? I don't know. I just like keep forgetting to do it. I'm definitely not gonna forget to do it because $900 for an ultrasound just boom, like that. And he had to get two. It was almost 
$2,000. No, it was $2,000 because I had to pay for like other stuff too. I got a belated birthday present that had some like curly ribbon on it. I think he ate some of it. Instantly got me really nervous because if you don't know how bad strings are for animals to eat, you can like wrap around their intestines and stuff in there and it can literally kill them. Do the ultrasound. It's pretty much showing that he is like blocked up. It's not far enough down for him to shit out, but it's not high enough for him to like throw it up. He went to the vet three or four times within this span. The first time they didn't do the ultrasound, he got a nausea shot, he came home, he instantly threw up. The second time he got the ultrasound. We were told he had to fast because we were trying to get the thing in his stomach to move naturally because if not, they were going to have to cut him open and do surgery. The next morning we brought him in super early. We got the phone call, thank Jesus, that the blockage moved on its own and he was totally fine. We started feeding him and this, mind you, is the exact day before Coachella. We were so nervous that he was gonna start throwing up again and I was already fully convinced that we were not going and I was just gonna kind of be out of all of the money that I spent on Coachella or I was going to have to go alone and Tyler was going to stay here, but let's be real. Do you guys really think I was gonna go to Coachella alone? Thank goodness that all of that worked out. So Coachella is on. First thing I had to do was get my Coachella nails done. These are the final nails for Coachella. I am absolutely obsessed with how they turned out. I love a good mix match nail look. 10, 14 p.m. Yes, I pretty much did my nails all day. I swear every video is gonna be something happening to Binks. It's just like the orange cat in him or something. I don't know. Look at his shaved belly. He just likes to keep us on our toes. I had it all planned out too. Whenever I plan to do stuff in YouTube videos, it always goes wrong. It is so much better when I'm just kind of winging it for some reason. I planned on doing self tanner, teeth whitening, giving myself a mini facial with a face mask, doing a hair mask before I went. All of this like amazing self care stuff to be like refreshed and feeling amazing. Literally did none of that. I was gonna film super in-depth how I packed and all of my favorite things to bring. I did get footage of me packing. I don't even fully know my outfits yet. Like I am so behind, it's not even funny. But I still have to pack. I have some stuff laid out already. I just like lay everything out on my bed and then pack everything. I am a chronic overpacker. I'm telling you, I use every single one of these products. And that's just wild to me. And I'm trying to cut back on it, but like I just am a high maintenance bitch, okay? I'm gonna own up to it. I'm not even gonna lie. I love self-care, okay? And I love using products. I have a migraine at the moment, so I have an ice pack on my face. I'm just gonna watch Dance Moms and speed run putting all this away so I can go to bed because my head is killing me. And I'm also just like chugging water. <laughs> It's the next morning. I did take like an everything shower and exfoliate and stuff like that. I am like so anxious right now. Yesterday I was anxious, but I was like, no, it's gonna be great, it's gonna be fine. And then today I woke up and it's just like, my stomach is a wreck and I'm probably gonna have to take a modium because I can't stop shitting. This is kind of the reality whenever I go somewhere. The car is almost all packed. I still have to put a few things in there. We're gonna take the kitty to my boyfriend's parents house. My stomach is growling but it also hurts like really bad because I'm anxious and I'm also extremely nauseous because when I get anxious I get nauseous but then I start getting more anxious that I'm nauseous because I'm scared of throwing up and it's just a horrible cycle and it's really 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 bad this morning but I know I need to eat something to feel less nauseous but it, it's gonna be hard to eat something because I'm nauseous yeah I feel like I'll be fine once we get to the hotel and like get past the first day of Coachella I'll be fine and you won't hear me complaining anymore but this is just my reality okay I can't just be like oh my god like, let's go like I, I can't like I don't know why things scare me so bad but gonna go finish packing up the car and then we're gonna skirt out of here. We left on the 11th and Coachella started on the 12th, went through the 14th and we left on the 15th. All of our cats have not been in the car for like a fat minute. This drive was like an hour and a half. There's children outside screaming outside of my apartment complex. The kids in my apartment complex are 
wild like this new generation absolutely terrifies me this is very random and off topic but the other day binks was laying right in front of the window and i opened up the window for him tyler and i were in the bedroom and we heard like someone like go rah, rah, rah. i come out here and there's two children climbing like on my patio fence walking up to my window growling at my cat and i'm like please don't do that we have this patio and they're like climbing on the fence all the time they're really annoying <laughs> and their parents are never anywhere to be found anyways this drive was horrendous it's okay baby and then there's binks who's <laughs> half asleep and he's probably like am i going to the vet again you're okay and vader's just pissed because he just wants to get out to look out the window Next time we're definitely gonna have to get them like medication or like CBD or something. It was so hard to leave. I felt like I was empty nesting. Like I've never left my kitties before. <laughs> And I was also stressed because I was like, well, what if something happens to Bink? Because of everything that had just happened. But it had to be done. And now we are finally heading to Coachella. Now, we actually made really good time this year. Last time we made the mistake of leaving really late and we hit really, really bad traffic. And it took us like two more hours than usual to get there last time. This time we got there exactly at four. We made it. I'm gonna give you a little tour of the hotel room. You walk through the door, you got the bathroom right here. Gorgeous, beautiful toilet. Full length mirror, always comes in handy. We got the king size bed, a little couch, the TV. I like staying here last year because it's on a golf course, so it's just super pretty. We have the pool right there that we can just straight up walk out of here and go straight to the pool. And I wanted to get this little fireplace so Tyler and I could use it at nighttime. We're gonna start unpacking and then we're going to get food because we low-key haven't really eaten today. Last year when we got here, they gave us cookies. And I don't know what it is about these cookies. They're chocolate chip and walnut. These are probably one of the best cookies I've ever tasted in my entire life. Let's go get food. Good old stuff. I'm gonna do a number two protein style with no onion. I'll do a large cherry coke. And then can I get two plain double meats with just meat and lettuce on them? In and out. That's what I remember a while back when I first met Tyler, I sang the In and Out song. In and out. That's what a hamburger's all about. He had no idea what this was. Then I asked his friend, and I asked his whole family, none of them have ever heard of this song. I remember growing up hearing the song on the radio every single day of my life. And I need to ask you guys, do you guys know what that song is? Obviously for my California people. I cannot be the only person who remembers this song. I felt like it was a Mandela effect and I was going nuts. Me too, thank you. Thank you, give me fucking lives. Are you for real? I'm upset. That is depressing. <laughs> Look at this mm. thing. That's so sad. We got fries. Can't forget the sauce. Get the number two protein style with no onions. But I also take off the tomatoes when I get it. And then I feel bad for asking for no tomatoes on top of saying no onions. So I just usually just, I just take them off. That was all lettuce. <laughs> We're gonna sit in bed. And we're gonna watch Sabrina. And it's gonna be really awesome and great. Good morning. Instantly, when I woke up this morning, I went to go rub my face. <laughs> pimple right in the middle of the forehead. First, I need to eat. I brought little cereals, but we need to go to CVS really quick to get milk for them. Okay. <laughs> sure. We don't have bowls. And we didn't really think of that. And we didn't have spoons either. So we got spoons and then we were about to pour it and then we were like, oh shit, we don't have bowls. And then I'm gonna have some cantaloupe and apples. Kiss me hard before you go. Summertime silence. 
I'm gonna do my hair before my makeup because that's the only right way to do that. I'm gonna do skincare before. I'm going in with this Tower 28 spray. This helps a lot with inflammation and stuff, so I always go in with that when my face kind of seems like it's gonna break out. Road Serum. We're going in quick with the skincare though because my face is so, so dry just from barely being up here. Moisturizer. Today is Lana Day. The other like main band that I'm really, really excited to see is Sublime. I'm going in with leave-in conditioner really quick. One of my favorite things about packing is all of the mini products. I was raised on Sublime. My parents were teenagers in the 90s and had me at 16, 17 in 2001. So Sublime was like that band that my mom and dad listened to together in high school. I grew up listening to it. I know like every single song and I'm just really excited. I'm also excited to see No Doubt I don't really listen to Tyler the Creator. I'm definitely one of those people that just knows like the few songs on TikTok. I'm not even gonna lie. And Doja Cat, I know a lot of her songs and stuff, but also, I'm not gonna lie, I don't like a lot of the dark, devilish, demonic stuff that's been going on with her recently. I'm not gonna lie, okay? I don't know, I'm just not down with it, you know? I'm gonna be blow drying my hair, so I'm going in with my mini dream coat. I was a little taken back by the lineup this year. It's very just like split in the middle, like people. People are either super, super excited or people are like, this is the most mid lineup ever. I hate this. I was very in the middle about it because I was very, very excited about Lana Del Rey and Sublime and like a few other people I know. The headliners did confuse me a little bit because I'm pretty sure Doja Cat was here literally a few years ago. It is 10.55 right now, so I'm gonna speed run my hair. I think I'm gonna go in with the teeniest bit of mousse. That's literally it, like only a little bit. And this is the Nexus mousse. Can we just take a moment? Because I'm pretty sure my hair is like the same length as my extensions that I wore last year. Cannot forget sunscreen. Lana Del Rey is performing at like 11.30 p.m. tonight. There is other people before that that I wanna see, like I kinda wanna see Sabrina Carpenter, and she's at like 6 p.m., but I do have events to go to, and today Celsius is having one, I think from like two to six, so even if I don't stay long, I do wanna go to that. I am drowning my lips in Vaseline. My face is so dry. All those products I put on earlier, completely soaked in, but like they they disappeared and it feels like I don't have anything on. My face is extremely puffy this morning for some reason, so I'm gonna use my little new face. My skin already has some slip from all the skincare I just put on it. This does help like temporarily with puffiness. I definitely prefer the new face over gua shaing because it's a little bit more instant and gua shaing is just like, you have to do it for so long and super consistently like every single day to even see the results. And if you stop like a week later, the results are just completely gone. But I do like five passes on all of the areas like I don't know if you guys can even see a freaking difference I just get like so puffy that like my cheekbones disappear and my whole body is puffy right now whenever I get super anxious I feel like my whole body gets puffy and I know anxiety can cause like crazy things but I literally feel like it causes my whole body to be super inflamed also when I get like super stressed my wisdom teeth because I never have gotten my wisdom teeth out they're still in there making my teeth crooked as hell. They get really sore and it's like only when I get stressed. I don't know if that's normal or not. <laughs> now we're ready for makeup. I got the gold bright drop. Like you know how Drunk Elephant has the bronzing drops? And I'm kind of putting that on the high points of my face to give myself a little bit more glow. Trust the process. <laughs> 
I'm going in a little bit with the Glossier Skin Tint because I do not want like a shit ton of makeup on my face because it is a million degrees outside and I don't want my entire face to just kind of melt off. I'm going in with like a million different products right now. It's going to be hard to show you guys all the products that I use. I'm going to link my Shop My down below. It's where I link like all beauty products that I use and it's organized like hair care, hair favorites, blah, products, makeup, skincare. So if you want to go see all the stuff that I'm using, you can see what it is on there just because I'm going to be getting ready like three different times in this freaking video and it's going to be repetitive and annoying to show you guys all the products. We're going to spot conceal. I've actually been using a different powder for once in my life. I always use the Laura Mercier powder, the Huda Beauty powder, the shade Sugar Cookie. So it's like white. I've been having an issue with the Laura Mercier powder. When I put it on, it makes my under eyes darker. It's not translucent. Like I need one that's like white. And this one has been working like a charm. Like I feel like that looks so bomb. This makes my under eyes look so much softer. Like the powder helps brighten my under eyes. I don't really know what to expect from the events because last year I went to my like very first influencer event ever. There was no one there and it was really boring. But I think it's because the party like had just started and no one was there yet. So maybe that's why it was kind of mm, putting a little under my cheeks to give my face a little bit more shape. This has been my all time favorite blush and I've been using the pink blush by Dior for a really, really long time. I've always been scared of like darker colors. I don't know why because this is like the most complimenting color I think I've ever used and I've used it literally every single day since I bought it. I'm gonna go in with a bronzy shade a little on my lid. I have this cream highlighter and it is like the most gorgeous glowy highlighter. Just look at that. Instant like glass skin. I'm gonna go get dressed. I have this skirt and it is lace and it's completely see-through. Black underwear under them to kind of like match the shirt. This is totally like inspired by something I saw on Pinterest. But I kind of just wanted to wear stuff a little more simple because I didn't want to be like uncomfortable the entire day. I think we're gonna leave it down. <laughs> Cause it looks good down. It's not like it looks bad. I got the most gorgeous boots ever, and I'm very excited to wear them. There's like a weird ass alarm going off in the hotel. I added this layered necklace and then <clears throat> these rings. I might take the necklace off though, just because. I don't know, it looks a little funny since my shirt is up high. Also, all of the jewelry is from free people. I get all of my jewelry from there. What is going on? I think I'm going with these sunglasses. I don't know if I like the belt. I might take it off. Also, I took the necklace off because it just like didn't go right with it. How's it going? Water or Celsius? Uh, I mean, I'll take a Celsius. <laughs> I'm feeling really good. Thanks, bud. I'll have just one. one. Yeah. Right, two. Thank right, you. Cool. Thanks, boss. All right. We have just arrived to the Celsius party. Yeah. Ballet, you dropping off? Yeah, ballet. Ballet? All right, cool. Follow that call all the way down. Drop the cool. Thank you. Also, by the way, I wasn't brought by any brands or anything like that. Like, none of what I'm saying is an ad in this video at all. Like, they just invited me to these events. But I thought I would give a little insight on what influencer events are like, especially for someone who doesn't really have any friends, what it's like to kind of be like an outsider, just like looking in, you know? I don't know if like, when you're a YouTuber, you start to like feel like you're a part of like the YouTube community or like a social media influencer. Like I still feel so out of place. This one like was the event. There was a few other really big events. Revolve always has a really big event, but I wasn't invited to that one. 
one and then I think there was like a YouTube lounge but I also wasn't invited to anything to do with YouTube. And then I think there was another one, something with like Neon Carnival. I have no idea. This was definitely my first official influencer event. We pull up, I am so nervous. At influencer events, it's definitely like everyone is a main character. Like when you think about it, you're going to this place where everyone has followers, everyone has an internet presence of some sort. There's gonna be a lot of characters there. We walk in, there's always people taking pictures everywhere. I knew a lot of people at this event. They don't know me, but there was people here that I'm like, holy shit. Not fangirling necessarily, because I know that these are just like normal fucking people, but it's so wild because I used to watch so many of these people when I was like 12 years old. I didn't go up to like anybody at this event, by the way. I was so anxious and nervous and I didn't want to seem like I was fangirling. Like I overthink every interaction ever, especially in these scenarios. I would never want any of these people to think I'm like, trying to like clout chase or do any of that. Like I genuinely just like want to tell them like, I love you. Did a loop, they had a little bar. They had a bunch of little food trucks. Every influencer event I've gone to so far, everything is free, which is definitely sick. And when I walked up and we got free stuff, it was like, oh my God, I feel like an influencer getting free things. Like I was like so in shock that everything was free. Me and Tyler ended up sitting down. It was also like 98 degrees. When I was sitting down, a person that I had been mutuals with on on social media for a fat minute. Her name is also Kaylee, was walking by. And I whispered to Tyler, I was like, oh my God, there's Kaylee. But I was scared to walk up to her. But thankfully she turned and looked at me and she was like, oh my God, we finally got to meet in real life for the first time. She's the first ever internet mutual that I have ever met in real life. Another person that I met through Tyler's friend group was there, ended up hanging out with them majority of the time. There was a DJ, I'm not sure who the DJ was. There's always a dance floor and then they always have like a VIP section at these influencer events for like the people with like a shit ton of followers. But I was a really big idiot and chose like the worst footwear. We had to leave because I ripped the skin on my heels and like on my toes and I have the most crazy blisters. If I stayed any longer, there was going to be blood in the boots. These blisters are like the worst things ever. I, my whole feet are gonna be covered in band-aids. I don't know how I'm gonna put these shoes back on. I was stupid and didn't wear socks. <laughs> I know, gross, disgusting. But the boots barely fit when I put my socks on and I don't have thinner socks. And it was like harder to walk in them. And I didn't think it was gonna be that bad. Um, It was that bad. And now I'm here bandaging my feet. I'm telling y'all, I was already feeling off today. I'm on my period. Yeah. So always on my period, I feel like insecure. I walked into this event and it literally, felt so insecure because everybody is just like the prettiest I've ever seen. Perfect makeup, perfect skin, perfect body, perfect teeth, perfect hair, perfect outfits. Like it's just, everything's perfect. And I just like wasn't feeling it today and I feel like super ugly and um, I kind of just wanted to cry. <laughs> I don't know if all these other influencers are just really secure and aren't insecure. I don't think I've ever seen any other influencer talk about how intimidating it is to go to these events because everybody is like so pretty. I just got hit with like a wave of super like sadness and insecurity. Girl, I felt so insecure after I went to this event. Like I felt so good leaving the hotel. I felt cute, I was taking pictures. And then I got to this event and literally wanted to like jump off a cliff. It's definitely something that I'm gonna have to work on because I did not expect me to feel this way. One thing I just wanna touch on is a lot of people hype up people on the internet for being pretty. Like I get comments all the time about being pretty and I'll get one comment a lot saying like, I wish I could look like you and things like that. And it always makes me so sad when I get those, but I'm explaining this side of it to kind of let you guys know that every influencer also feels the same way you do about other people. I'll see the people who comment that on my videos and think they're like drop dead gorgeous. And I'm like, how could you be insecure? You're literally gorgeous. But then people feel the same way about that, about me. Like when I say I'm super insecure and they're like, but you're gorgeous. Everyone thinks the grass is always greener if you would get a boob job or lip filler or your teeth fixed or 
get your hair done a certain way or be skinnier or have a fatter ass or something. Everyone thinks they're gonna love themselves more, but if you don't love yourself already on the inside and fix those insecurities, you're still gonna be insecure when you change yourself. So I'm just kind of bringing this up because I feel like a lot of people don't talk about it. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I just. I don't even know what I'm saying, but I just didn't expect me to like feel that way, but I'm like trying to like snap myself out of that and not get super insecure. Like I am that bitch and we are all hot. So we're not going to let that tear us down. But on this day, it kind of took over. I changed my shirt. I wasn't feeling just the black plain tee. I wanted it to be a little bit more out there, but do you guys see the halo of baby hairs. I think my hair is breaking off from doing too many tight ponytails from going to the gym because I don't think this is new growth from hair oiling. Holy shit, it is so windy today. I don't know if there's like a dust storm going on or something. Like I know it's dusty here, but we were driving back and it was so windy, like pushing the car and it was just dust outside. Tyler's getting McDonald's right now because that's honestly the only thing that kind of sounded good around us. in and out is like a little farther away and we're going to Coachella after this but i'm just like fixing my makeup and trying to not feel insecure I did actually see quite a few people i knew there and talk to people a little bit i was trying to be a little bit social but i am just so awkward there was a bunch of people that i knew of there that i like watch on youtube and stuff too i was like kind of fangirling because i saw tar yummy and i'm like oh my god Please be my best friend. This definitely is the first official like influencer event that I've gone to where there's other like influencers there that I know. There was a lot of people walking around. I'm like, oh my God, I know everybody here. Just for example, I saw Summer McKean and I have watched her since I was 12 years old. I wanted to go up to her so bad and just been like, hey, I love you. How do you do that, okay? How do all these influencers just know who they are too? They're all in like herds. Everyone's in like their own little group. So I'm like, how do you guys even know each other? I don't understand it. It is wild. Like we got there and we kind of just instantly sat down and I was just like people watching. Made like a little ponytail right there. And then when I put my hair down like this, my bangs are out of the way. I might add like some braids. I couldn't deal with my bangs in the way and I kept putting my sunglasses up and it was creating this like weird crease and you can see my bangs completely fell. Okay, I'm liking this a lot more. I have my little wax stick and we're gonna try and get these little goys to stay down. Looks good like when I have my hair forward. This is it if I have my hair back. Yeah, it kind of just keeps my hair out of my face and it's so freaking windy that I cannot have that happening at this moment. We finally get to actual Coachella and I am so excited to see Lana Del Rey. They almost made me walk all the way back to the car because they wouldn't let me in with my camera. The wind is horrendous in this clip, so I'm just gonna explain really quick. They wouldn't let me in with my Canon G7X. Now, if you know that camera, it is the smallest vlogging camera ever. It's smaller than my phone. And I did have a tripod on it, and it's just the Gorilla tripod. It doesn't extend at all. I had a feeling they'd have a problem with the tripod, but I brought one in every single day last year and saw a million people with them. It kind of depends on the security guard you get because some people don't check your bag at all, and then some people are, like, really strict about it. I had it out, not in my bag, and the guy instantly pointed at it and said, you can't bring that in, you have to take it back to the car. And I was, like, so taken back. I was like, I brought this in last year every single day and they're like oh new rules i kind of asked i was like can we talk to someone that might know the rules a little bit better because i need someone to tell me like why i'm not allowed to bring this in and then another dude came over and was like no yeah you can't bring that in and i explained to him i'm like i've always been allowed to bring in a canon g7x like this camera's allowed and he was like no you're not but they wouldn't like give me any reason for it anyways i'm on the verge of crying because i'm also like embarrassed i walk away and i bring up coachella's website and look at their rules and things like not to bring and it said only cameras with detachable lenses the canon g7x does not have a detachable lens so i walked back up to him and showed him they went to another manager person and she was like no you can't bring it in it's too extended to the tripod and i was like oh the tripod's the issue and the guy was like yeah when he was not talking about the tripod at all, he was talking about the camera the whole time and just didn't know what he was talking about. And I was like, oh, I'll throw the tripod away. And he was like, okay, I'm gonna confiscate it. And I'm like, 
here you go and walked right past him after that didn't have a problem with it at all with any other security guards right when we walked into coachella i swear to you i saw like five different girls taking pictures with their candy g7x in front of the ferris wheel we walked like 40 minutes to get into the park we had to park so far away because we got there late also i just want to say i miss sabrina carpenter because we had to go back to the hotel to put band-aids all over my heels and we couldn't just go from the event straight to coachella oh that's really sad there was a lot of people i kind of stayed further back for this one just because crowds do freak me out you're gonna see later there are some pretty crazy crowds it's kind of just something you have to deal with when you go to these things there's gonna be crowds there's literally like hundred thousand people there lana came out on these little like moped motorcycle things <laughs> Entrance was 10 out of 10. Day one, I was definitely the most anxious. I just like need to get it out of my system and get used to it. And then day two and day three are like literally fine. And I am already used to the chaos. We leave Lana a teeny bit early because we had an event to go to. And I didn't want to go to this event super, super late. Like I'm pretty sure we got to the event at like 1.30 AM. And this event was by Nylon, which is a magazine. <laughs> Did a loop around. Also at a lot of these events, there are little tents that brands have. Like at this one, Elf was there. Sally Hansen was there. I feel like a lot of people that don't do social media, don't do like YouTube and stuff, don't know that there's such a business side to everything. And if you do want to venture off into that side a little bit more, you have to network. You have to introduce yourself to people. And that is literally so hard for me, but that's why I like to go with my manager. I told myself that I was not going to fall asleep with makeup on this year. And on the first day I failed. Full hair and makeup are still there. I feel so disgusting. Went to the event, we got Del Taco last night, we ate it in bed, and I don't remember anything after that. When my head hit the pillow, I was out. And I woke up at 10 a.m. and we had no alarms on, we had nothing. And then I wake up to a text from my mom saying, did you see Billie Eilish? We left the Lana set. Like she probably had one more song because I wanted to get before the crowds because crowds really freak me out. And I know everyone would be like kind of rushing out after that. Come to find out she performed Ocean Eyes with Billie Eilish and Billie Eilish was there. I literally missed Billie Eilish last year when she came out for Labyrinth. I'm actually so sad because Ocean Eyes like was that song for me. Like that, that, that's why my mom texted me, like she knows. And I am just 
so upset. I'm so upset. I am never leaving a set early again. The party was kind of like, eh. Like, instantly when we walked in, two middle-aged dudes came up to our group of people. One of them came up to my friend and was like, hey, do I know you? I'm not flirting with you, but do I know you? And he was probably like 50. She was like, oh no, like I don't think so. And then just, we talked to them for like 20 minutes, bro. Then the other dude was talking to me and Tyler and was telling us about relationships. Like this man definitely just just got out of a divorce. I used to go through and date so many girls trying to find the one. When you find a woman that puts up with you, you, you gotta make her that woman. You gotta make her that wife. We were just sitting there like, yeah, yeah. Like they were definitely on something. I'm super pissed that I miss Billy, but it is what it is. Today is Sublime Day and I am so excited. No Doubt is also playing. We did miss Billie Eilish. What? Me and Tyler have barely talked. I faced her my mom right when I woke up. Was she a special guest? She came out with Lana and performed Ocean Eyes and we missed all of it. We missed her last year too with Labyrinth. We left early. What is up with us missing Billie Eilish? We got the bacon, the hash browns, the sausage, the eggs, the fruit mixture, some pastries, and then this really amazing juice. What is it again? Orange juice and peach juice. Mm -hmm. It's really good. If you've been thinking about getting a Stanley, but you don't know if they're worth it or not. I filled this up yesterday. It had water in it. Morning, before we left, it was in the car. I didn't bring it anywhere with me. I left it in the car the entire time in 90 degree weather. And it is the next morning. It is 24 hours later and there's still ice in it. I just took the most refreshing shower of my life. Like I honestly salute people that do camping. Like I have thought about it and I feel like it would be a really fun experience if you went with a group of friends. But like I need a shower and I need a comfy bed. I also like having like TV. You can go glamping But at that point, I'm like I would just rather go and get a hotel By the way I totally made Tyler go to CVS when I was in the shower to get me a curling iron because I forgot my curling iron at home I brought my Dyson, but you can't make these types of waves with a Dyson. Okay, I'm actually kind of rushing to get ready because I kind of just want to get there already my hair is so so, so dry. I literally just put like four pumps of oil into it and you can't even tell at all. If you do not know, I lived with my boyfriend for like six months. He lived in like Menifee, Temecula area. And it is so hot and dry there. My face hated it. Usually, you know, your face would like clear up in a dry climate. Nope, my face broke out even worse. I have an entire tutorial on what I'm doing to my hair already posted on here. If you wanna see all of the products I am using and how I'm doing it. This is like one of my favorite hairstyles to do, but I don't do it that much just because I try not to use heat that often. Like I know I blow dry my hair, but using things with hot plates is so much worse than blow drying. That's why I stay away from curling irons and flat irons as much as I can. Also, my hair just feels like so damaged after I use a curling iron. I kind of feel like it's a placebo effect. I don't know. It's probably not that damaged. I forgot to do one with heat protectant. I look like I have like a bunch of product in my hair. That toilet keeps doing that every five seconds. I love, excuse me. Stop that. I low-key have a bunch of product in my hair though, like night serum oil that has heat protectant in it and dream coat and mousse from yesterday. And uh, my hair kind of feels like really nasty, but I wasn't about to like, wash it and like wait for it to dry. I'm definitely doing lighter makeup today than yesterday, but kind of doing like a similar vibe. But my face literally just melted off yesterday and I was just like felt so insecure and it looked crusty as hell. So I don't think I'm gonna be going in with like a bunch of foundation or concealer, like under my eyes and like all over my face, like I'll spot conceal some pimples, but I can't with that today. I like can't believe that I miss Billie Eilish. I'm not gonna be able to get over that. Like what are the fucking odds of that happening? I genuinely don't know how I'm gonna put boots on today because my whole entire heels and toes and sides of my feet are covered in gigantous blisters. And also if they're not blisters, just my skin is peeled off and it's just like that red layer. I'm definitely gonna pop a few Advil before we leave. Shut up. Yeah. 
I went in with a little bit of glitter just on the tops of my cheekbones. This is the NYX glitter and I apply it with the Anastasia glitter adhesive. I don't even think they make this anymore though. This is the final makeup for today. Let's get the outfit. I got this stuff. I don't even know how to say that name. Body glow stuff, but it has SPF 45 in it. How it looks. It just gives like a little bit of glow. And I'm just putting that all over my chest and shoulders. I also have this stuff by Patrick Ta. Glow Balm. I'm gonna go in with just a teeny bit of hair oil. I already put so freaking much in there. Just to help my hair stay hydrated because oh, I swear she is like breaking off. Oh, that turned out like so much better than I thought it was going to. I wish my natural wavy hair was like this. Like this is what I'm trying to achieve when I do a wavy hair care routine. Gorgeous. Hair is an outfit. Hair is the accessory. But this just made me feel a million times more confident. I honestly think I'm just gonna leave these little heart earrings on that I had on already. I do have this belly chain, but I don't, I don't know if I need to wear it. I don't know if it's a vibe. I feel like I'm giving like very beachy vibes right now, like mermaid vibes. We weren't going for that, but I'm also not mad at it. Last but not least, I have a bunch of bracelets that I got. And I have this belt, you know, kind of like that. I feel like this makes the whole outfit. I feel like I look like a pirate. It's giving coastal cowgirl, I'm so here for it. Oh, this, this is a good one. Okay, this looks so good. It's very coastal cowgirl. Holy shit, okay, we're gonna leave like right away though because we need to get there and if there's any traffic, it's gonna take us forever to get in the park. And I don't wanna miss the blime. got there around like two or three and I know a lot of people get there at 8 a.m. but genuinely like it is so hard to be there from 8 a.m. to 1 a.m. it's it's too much I totally get like you want to get your money's worth but I couldn't do it my feet hurt so bad and were covered in blisters I could barely walk like this day was really, really bad for the feet. The shoes were like pinching my toes the entire time. Like I felt like my toenails were going to fall off. I still do. I still think my toenails are gonna fall off. We get super close to Sublime. My dad never got to sing those songs in front of an audience that big of people who adored him and his sound and his message.
guys are all favorite. just amazing I knew like every single song and it was just it was a vibe in between sets that we want to see too we kind of just will sit and rest and then we will walk around and just like see other artists that we don't know just to listen to the music get food eating our 25 dollar chicken strips each that's wild you know what was on the menu plus one tender Ten dollars. <laughs> that is so well. No, yeah, ten dollars, ten dollars, and then five dollars for the price. Last year they were sixteen dollars. I, I think it's because they're different places. They, I'm not gonna like, lie. There's another though. pizza place. I'm not gonna lie. These are like the best chicken strips I've ever eaten in, in my life. I feel like a lot of people that don't go to Coachella would not like know how much the fucking food is, and then they go. Like last year when we came here, my mouth dropped at the fucking prices. Like when we passed that place right when we came in last year. Saw Sublime and no doubt is playing like way later would like stay and walk around like T-Pain is performing right now When I tell you my feet are in the worst pain I think I've ever felt in my entire life and it's not like the blisters anymore on my heels It's that my toes are being crushed That's why we're sitting for like a good 30 maybe 40 minutes. I don't even know so we can walk around places to actually enjoy it. Oh, I'm really bad. I got the Sublime one. I was gonna get the Coachella hoodie, but we got into this line and we were already really far into it. Show, show. We were already really far into it and I didn't want to walk all the way back. And then I saw the Sublime hoodie and I was like, I like that. But I'm probably still gonna get my Coachella hoodie because I wanna have one from every year. We're waiting for No Doubt, which we can actually look go over there now. And then I don't know if we're gonna leave after that. I'm gonna go now.
such a good performer. <laughs> Seriously, like, if I could just somehow, just somehow explain the amount of love and how much I want to slap the shit out of you guys tonight! <laughs> Yeah. 
holy crap, they did not disappoint. This was one of the best performances I have ever seen in my entire life. And I'm not like a crazy No Doubt fan. I definitely just know like the popular songs, but I still really wanted to see the performance because they haven't performed together in what, like 10 years, nine years. And they were coming back together for Coachella. It was iconic and I am so happy we stayed and saw it. They brought Olivia Rodrigo out and it was just like the best performance ever. I was obsessed with the outfit changes. Gwen Stefani just had the best stage presence ever. I feel like a lot of artists have really lost that stage presence, like to actually communicate with the crowd. She got everyone screaming like I'm just a girl and it was just iconic. It, they did a lot of songs. It was, it was great. Like there's nothing else I can say about it. It was just really, really great. funnel cake. We might get a few other snacks, but I think we're gonna leave and just chill out at the hotel room. Enjoy our little vacation. We both don't really listen to Tyler the Creator that much at all, pretty much. I know like the popular like songs and not even the whole song, like literally just the chorus on TikTok. So I'm a fake fan and I, I don't really care. I'm tired and I wanna go. I wanna go and wear some milk. What? Sounds really good right now. Hashtag milk. Only real ones know. That's a uh, not even having 10k subscribers. Is it really that long? Tyler, I didn't have any subscribers when we made that. And that video is private now, so if you know what hashtag milk is, you're a real one. I don't even, literally know what that is. Good morning. I am so puffy. It looks like I'm having an allergic reaction to something. I don't know why my eyes are this puffy. <laughs> I had to get like a bunch of goop out of my eyes. I think it's just because it's so much windier this year than last year and there's so much more dust in the air. It is 11.41 and the place to get breakfast here stops at 12, so we're literally walking out the door. <laughs> why do men always just have to like jump over stuff or like smack the tops of things? Like what's up with that? Is it just like in your guys' nature? Yes. It's closed. But the bar is open for food. Do they have breakfast food? Because I'm not about to eat something that's not breakfast food because that sounds like so nauseating. I like can't eat not breakfast. Eat, I can eat breakfast food like all day. <coughs> oh my god, I can't stop coughing. Okay. Breakfast was closed. We actually have quite a bit of food in our fridge though. We still have a bunch of fruit and yogurt. People perform. Ooh. Why? That was terrifying. <laughs> My dilemma right now is I ordered stuff from Jaded London. I got no confirmation email. I always take a picture right after I order something at the order number because I've had this happen before with other brands all the time where I won't get a confirmation email. It had been like two weeks and I hadn't gotten an update. I haven't gotten my order yet. Search my order number. <coughs> and you know, you put your order number, your zip code. It will usually tell you if there's delays or something. It said no order found. And I'm like, what emailed them? And they haven't emailed me back. But I had like multiple things I was gonna wear in that order. So I'm like, I'm sad because it would have looked so bomb. I mean, I can just like keep it for next year, I guess. Honestly, I feel like the way to go is to buy Coachella stuff after Coachella. Everywhere is still selling festival type of things. If you wanna get it like before, before to really make sure stuff comes in time, a lot of places don't have stuff. And you can find a lot of Coachella stuff on Depop and all of those types of like thrifting places after Coachella way more because a lot of people will get stuff for Coachella and then like sell it. It's kind of a good idea. So I think I'm gonna do that this year. I had no idea what to wear this year, but right now it's like fresh in my mind. Like some of the cute things that I saw people wearing at Coachella, I'm like, oh my God, that looks so bomb. I'm not gonna wash my hair again because I think I'm gonna do 
an updo today and I kind of want my hair to be a little dirty. I'm gonna show you a few of the outfit options we got going on. I got this dress from Frankie's Bikinis a while back and it's just simple, pair with boots, but I just wanna do more. I originally brought this for an, like an after party and I was gonna wear a black like bodysuit tank top under it or just a bra and wear this together. I saw this all over Pinterest and I saw it a lot last year and I thought it was really pretty, but it is like a little out there for me. Like you're pretty much naked. I did get this and I know what you're thinking, Kaylee. That is completely see-through. I would wear a black bra underneath and like black underwear. One thing I didn't notice when I bought it is that the back is super pretty. But it's completely open and it looks stupid when you wear a bra with it. Like, I can't not wear a bra. That's like not even an option. One, because I have boobs and they would be sagging to my belly button. Two, I am not comfortable having my nips out like that. I need my boobs to be like lifted up. Now, if I had a boob job, that would be a different story. I'm gonna figure some stuff out and I need to go rinse off in the shower and then I'm gonna get ready. I have a black bodysuit on. And there is a small part of me that kind of just wants to wear this with like running shoes. I used to believe we were burning on the edge of something beautiful, something beautiful, selling a dream. We're gonna try and accomplish a messy bun with little hairs coming out. I was just checking my DMs. I've gotten like the same question a lot and it's a bunch of people asking if I paid for my tickets or if I was brought by a brand. I paid for everything. I would love to be brought by a brand, but that has not happened. So I paid for both VIP tickets for me and my boyfriend and then I paid for the hotel and then everything in between. Like YouTube, if you want to bring me next year, can we make that happen? I don't know if I want to say how much I paid for Coachella because that's like kind of embarrassing. But it's definitely like 10 grand-ish. I don't know, I can't even justify it. I'm gonna be honest, I can't even justify it because that is a lot of money. We've been getting to Coachella a little bit later just because the people we want to see are playing later in the day. I'll lose my mind. I can't do messy bones, bro. I don't know why I thought this was gonna be a good idea. And then, then the, every single time I mess up, they're so hard to take out and I feel like I'm just like ripping out all of my hair. I don't know what it is about when me and Tyler go to concerts and stuff, but we always get really lucky with the people we're with. Sometimes not. Like when we were watching Lana, the people in front of us were complaining the entire time, but they were singing along to the songs and like seemed like they liked her, but they were like, yes, give us nothing. And like talking about how she's only here for being paid and just like they were being like really negative and like, I get it, but like, why are you here? Like, why are you watching? Like if you're gonna complain the whole time and be like negative and like hate on her, it was really weird. But anyways, for Sublime, we were next to a dude that was probably the same age as my dad. And he was just kind of asking like, where are you guys from? Pretty much seeing if we like actually listen to sublime or if we're like real fans and like i just kind of explained like yeah i was raised on it it's just kind of like a full circle moment to be seeing them man take a shot every single time i take this bun out it was just really good vibes but bro there was a person behind me that was like trying to get to the front but not to see the band they were trying to get to the front to see alex earl's boyfriend like in the artist pass area in the front, I think. And they just like wouldn't shut up about it. And they were like trying to like talk about weaving in between us and like, no, like go up here more. Why are people so obsessed with like seeing people? It was really weird. Bro, I can't, I'm gonna, f I'm gonna like actually start crying. Like I can't get this bun right and it's driving me crazy. I'm gonna get the bun right. I don't think you guys understand how long that took. I also don't even know how I feel about it. We're gonna use a wax stick to kind of hold everything down a little bit. Literally had a breakdown getting ready right now. Um, I'm not wearing the red dress. I can't. It is so windy outside that I already know that it's gonna fly up and I'm gonna be freezing. So I'm just gonna wear this. And we need to go. 
went with more of a casual fit because I I wanted to wear the cowgirl boots that match this jacket, but I genuinely can't. Like my feet hurt in these shoes. Right when we got there on the third day, I had just gotten some fruit. They had this fruit stand where it was just like a bunch of fruit and then you could put tahini on it and lemon and it was so bomb. The guy that worked there was so chill. We had like deep ass conversations with him every single time. But then we're walking around and then I hear a tick tock on the clock. Castro is here. Oh my God. And I just start running and Tyler's like, okay, we're running. I love Kesha so much. Maybe Rexa was about to come on and I do know quite a few of her songs. And I said, you know what? Fuck this. I'm going to write the songs. But when I sell the songs, I'm going to say, you know what? You got to keep me on it. Performance, 10 out of 10. And then for the last performance, David Guetta came out. And this next guy, next guy as much as I love him, we have our moments. I, he fucking believed in me from day one. Make some noise for David Guetta! <laughs> Me and Tyler's eyes instantly met and we were like, oh my gosh, and instantly like ran closer. Tyler was definitely like very, very excited. In the beginning of our relationship, we listened to the same kind of EDM Bibu Bobby music. We definitely bonded over a lot of like David Guetta songs. We were just like super excited for that. I wish he was on longer because it was only for one song and I'm like, no, I need more. And I love you. And we're here at fucking Coachella. This is crazy. Ready to turn this into the biggest club in the world? We're waiting 
Whoa, did you go to Tom's? We're waiting for DJ Snake. We're at the Sahara stage and it's like a big dome. I did not know it was gonna be this packed, but we got like pretty close. We got there like 20, 30 minutes early and it just started piling in. And I was like just refusing to look behind me because I didn't want to know how many people were there, but it started to get a little squishy. And I started to like panic a little bit, but I, I was like, no, I want to experience this. I do not want to leave, but it started and it definitely was worth it. We got Coachella merch. They're both mine, I got so fooled. And the whole audience did too, okay? It wasn't just me. I started playing Let Me Love You, you know, with Justin Bieber. Everyone's phones, boom. 
Everyone's phones went out. Everyone started screaming. I was positive Justin Bieber was coming out on stage. I was starstruck. Like, I am a believer for life. <laughs> there was one point where he popped up on the screen and everyone screamed because they thought it was Justin Bieber coming out. And then come to find out today, Justin Bieber did perform and I miss it. I don't know who the artist was. So that's pro that's like why I didn't go to that set. But I am literally so sad. I'm still like really upset that he didn't show up. And it was the last song too, like it would have been so perfect. DJ Snake was so, so good. I have always loved EDM music, that genre, since I was like 10 years old. My parents were bumping the dubstep. I was obsessed with Skrillex, Zed, Calvin Harris, Avicii, rest in peace. I have always been super obsessed with it and it was always like a dream of mine to go to EDM concerts where everyone's jumping and having like a best time ever. Last year I really got to experience that with Calvin Harris. Like that still is like top memory experience, best thing ever to happen in my life. But DJ Snake is definitely up there. That crowd was amazing. Like definitely one of the best crowds at Coachella. Everyone was dancing, everyone was vibing. I know it's a thing where Coachella crowds are really mid. Like a lot of people kind of just stand there. But you do have to realize like people are fucking tired. Like I think people aren't realizing that it is like 100 degrees and people have been walking all day. A lot of the top headliner performers are at nighttime when you've been there for like 12 hours. So I feel like a lot of people that don't go and kind of like just like <laughs> type that shit on the internet like oh my god The crowd is so dead. It's like y'all we're dead. We're dead in the crowd, but I still try and like You know boogie around a little bit because I'm not gonna stand there and do nothing I'm So sad because I thought Justin Bieber was there and The Bieber, the Bieber fever was was alive And everyone, also okay, everyone, lucky everyone did because oh. something No, yeah, someone needs to get like the, a man. Me, I but did someone give me a thumbs up? When we were leaving, there was this dude on the floor. I couldn't tell if he was just like laying there like vibing like cause he was fully starfished on the ground. But then like we noticed we were like, oh shit, he's not. And like a few people were like up to him. We stayed like right there to see if he was okay. He was completely alone too. And he had his phone like in his hand. People were clicking on his phone and his phone was dead. But he was definitely not conscious. Like he was definitely on something. It definitely didn't seem like alcohol. It seemed like a little bit more than that. And like a girl was opening his eyes and his pupils were fully dilated and so we were trying to get a medic but a security guard came over and took care of him people were trying to roll him on his side yeah honestly i don't know how people go so hard at these things like i know drinking and drugs are a huge thing with festivals i didn't drink once when i was at coachella like i had a sip of alcohol at an event i've completely stopped smoking weed because i had like a bad experience actually after my last coachella video when i talked about my first weed experience i don't know how people get like black out drunk going to these things like i can barely handle myself sober like i can't imagine like being blacked out that's so scary a lot of people don't have that like anxiety and it helps like loosen them up and stuff but yeah okay anyways there was a guy like unconscious and we were you know kind of staying to make sure he got medical attention totally got blue balled and thought justin bieber was gonna come out and i'm really sad <sighs> one day so many people right now. Right after DJ Snake ended, Doja Cat had just started and everyone was walking towards that area. So we did end up seeing Doja Cat. We sat really far away though, because this is definitely the craziest crowd I have seen so far at Coachella. She had everybody in Coachella there. It was wild. We ended up 
leaving like during her last song. We saw the fireworks like as we were walking away just to kind of beat that crowd. After Frank Ocean last year, I was not taking any chances of getting caught up in a crowd like that. <laughs> Coachella's it's really- like Coachella's been looking like all day. It's just really dead guys. No, it's just like completely empty because everybody is watching Dojo right now. But we're leaving right now. Kind of want to get in and out really bad and they close at two. This year we did end up taking a ride on the little bike carts because our feet were so dead. This is the time to do it. Those things are literally so fun. And I talked to the guy, I was like, I asked him, I was like, have you ever run anybody over? People just like walk right in front of those things and these guys get like so close to people. We're waiting for in and out Literally the whole in and out is just filled with people from Coachella. We're gonna go back to the hotel and we're going to Munch. I'm so excited. I don't think I've ever been more excited to eat food in my entire life. It is way too late, but I just got done showering, taking my makeup off. My throat is so dry. I cannot even explain to you how nice it felt to wash my hair. I feel so refreshed and yes, I am totally going to bed with wet hair. I could not care less. I'm literally gonna wake up in like two, three hours at 6.30 a.m. because we're gonna try and leave earlier than last year because the traffic leaving Coachella is atrocious. It took us like two to three more hours to leave because of everyone leaving at the same time. And I wanna go pick up my baby kitties. I miss my kitties so much. Like I said, they stayed with Tyler's parents and we were getting updates the entire trip. Bella was so anxious the whole time, but she started to come out of her shell a little bit. I've never left them for this long before like we usually have always brought them with us so i am very excited to go home but this was a very fun coachella trip i just like packed all my stuff up as well so that when i wake up i don't really have to do anything see you guys in the next clip okay good night i love you i'm so tired <laughs> leaving a little later than we wanted 7 46 i only got like three hours of sleep because i did wake up at 6 30. i definitely already feel the after coachella depression last year i did not know i was going to experience this where you know you go back to your normal life and my normal life is not doing anything and pretty much just staying at home and i was like wow this is really boring and i'm really sad maybe i'll try and like hang out with people or something instead of not doing anything like always Car got attacked. By what? By a goose. By a goose? I like see a goose and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna kind of go around him. Starts fucking going after the car. <laughs> I look in the rearview mirror and I just see it like fully mouth open, just like trying to attack the car. You know, you're actually lucky that you didn't get attacked when you're outside because oh, those things are like really out, mean. I was good now. I was hustling a little bit. I was like, this fool's about to come after me. This is so scary. Oh my god. Is it like, stop, don't go fast, don't go fast, I can see, stop, stop. Oh my god, no, that is not it. That is actually so scary. Why is this thing so wobbly? Bye bye, hotel room. I'm gonna mess on our babies. They're gonna freak, because they're gonna be really excited. Hello, babies. Hello. 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 Oh, right here. Wait, where? Vader. Holy crap! Vader! Hello! Hi, baby girl. Hi, your baby girl. Browns, eggs, and sausage as well. Oh, <gasps> the top 
Got home, we unloaded the car. I still have to unpack. Instantly went and got food though because we were starving we hadn't eaten all morning and i told myself okay i'm gonna get caffeine in me i'm gonna unpack i'm gonna start editing i'm gonna straighten up around the house and then i'm gonna go to bed early i wasn't gonna take a nap yeah my body had other plans because i fell asleep about five seconds after i was done eating on the couch and then woke up at like 6 p.m and started filming this but that is going to be the end of this video hope you guys enjoyed the coachella vlog i love you guys so much and i will see you in the next one bye, -bye.